welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be making a balloon wall because I thought, what a perfect opportunity. I haven't got a backdrop at the moment and it's a perfect space for a balloon wall. So I thought I would run through step by step. I hope I've got enough balloons um, because I wasn't planning on doing this video. It was very spontaneous. <laughs> um, so the colours that I'm going for today are very autumnal. So I'm going to be adding a lot of um, oranges, browns, very neutral tones. So, let me just bring them over here. So, I am going for a double stuffed um, garland. So, move those ones out the way. I'm going to stuff Sempitex White Sand with Sempitex coffee um, and this makes a really nice warm nude colour so each colour that I'm going to do I'm going to blow them up separately mix the sizes um, and not mix the colours in the clusters either so I'm going to do one colour at a time so I'm going to quickly show you how I double stuff my balloons and then I will move on to the Right, so what I'm doing, I've got a straw, it can be any type of straw, I just use these. And I'm going to push it inside of my coffee. And I'm just going to simply place over the top my white sand. So usually I just push it against me like this. And then it's over. So I've got the coffee on the inside and white sands over the top and it makes a nice nude colour so that's what I'm going to do with about 20 well actually I might do it with all of them so I'm just going to keep going I'm going to keep on placing the um, and also I find if you twist it slightly and um, it's a little bit easier for it to go over the top so again coffee underneath white sands over the top just like that I'm going to do those with all of them. Right, so I have got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Right, I've got 24 of the um, coffee in white sand and now I'm going to be, oh no, 25, I've got 25 of the coffee in white sand, I thought I did. Um, and now I am going to move on to a burnt orange. Um, so to make this burnt orange, I am going to be using um, mandarin orange from Qualitex and I'm also going to be using chocolate brown from Qualitex as well if I can get into it and I just think this even as soon as it oxidizes I just absolutely love it so I'm going to do exactly the same again I'm going to put the chocolate brown right on top of my um, straw and I'm going to place my orange straight over the top so it looks like this and I'm just going to make, I'm probably going to make a few more of these. Um, not sure how many, but we'll see. Um, and I will put you on a time lapse. Because now you know how I double stuff them. So I'll show you one more time. Just pop the darker colour into your straw. And then orange on the top. And voila. So yeah. Music's going back on and I will get back to you with the other colour when I've finished this colour. Right, so I have just made 35 of those ones and now I'm on to the next colour which is, I'm not double stuffing this, but I'm just going to use gold. So, so far I've got um, my chocolate in white sands, I've got chocolate brown in orange, and I've got gold. And I'm also going to be using 
let me see. I'm also going to be using um, chocolate brown and white sand as well, just so I can see the difference in the in the different shades. So let me just experiment and see the difference between the two shades and see if there is a bigger difference between the nudes because I really want to get my hands on some blush however blush is like gold dust at the moment so let me have a look mm. so this is the um, chocolate and this is no this is the Sempertex chocolate and this is chocolate brown from Qualitex so there's not actually this one's slightly more nude than this one um, there's not that much difference do I still do it? I think I'll still use it I think I'll do a few of these I think it's still a nice colour so I'll quickly do a couple of these as well and then I am I might put some white in there as well but I'm not too sure I want to keep it quite warm um, because whenever I put white, I love, I just love using white. So whenever I put white in there, it just changes it. So I'm going to do a few of these. I was meant to be doing a um, set up a pumpkin patch and I'm gutted that it can't happen now um, because of the COVID restrictions. They're trying to, and you know what, fair enough, com I completely agree. Um, they're just not letting people, well, not encouraging people to take group photos and stuff like that. So that's fine, but still sad. I really wanted to make one in a pumpkin patch. I thought that would be really cute. Um, but I've got loads of exciting content coming up. I'm going to be trying to make a lot of prep for Christmas. I know it sounds really early, but I'm really excited. I cannot wait for Christmas and I've got so many ideas and I just think it would be great even if nothing can happen this year it's a perfect opportunity to actually build a portfolio so that is what I'm doing I'm just going to get as much content out to you guys as possible as much how to's as possible um, even if it is in this room and it's got bad lighting um, something is better than nothing so I'm happy to do that and hopefully I've got a big light coming which will help the lighting, but I think it looks so nice up here, this bloom wall. I don't know how big it's going to be. I'm not going to do it like across the whole um, wall because I'd need like <laughs> 700 balloons to do that. So I'm going to just try and do it this main focus here. Um, I have got two points up here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get so close. Um, I've got two like hooks where I like a drape on my backdrops. Um, so I might use those as like my anchor points and then go from there but I've got some house updates for you guys as well so um, I don't know if you watched my last video which by the way thank you so much for the response on my um, psychic reading I got so many messages from that video and I just didn't expect it I was I just didn't know whether to do it or not because it's very like an individual thing so I didn't know whether it would be entertaining for you guys but apparently you loved it so I might do some more videos like that like more like readings and stuff I might even do a video of my own like do my own reading with my cards again because I like doing that um, but anyway we are at the end of that video um, before it cut out no after it cut out she said to me your granddad said you need to rip your carpet up and I was on like that is actually true like we do need to rip the carpet up <laughs> and so yesterday we had um, some guys come round and I've chosen my new flooring for my living room and guys you're literally going to die it's so gorgeous it's literally gorgeous so it will enable me to be able to do more setups inside depending on how Benji is with the balloons and um, because I've got Freddie's birthday coming up, as I've said a thousand times. So I want to make sure that I'm doing something nice with his birthday inside and outside as well at the front of the house. So I'll definitely film that as well. So I've just done, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of that one. 
And I'm also going to just be chucking in some chocolate brown as well, just on its own. And I might just see how I get on with that. Um, I have actually got, so I've not got any chocolate brown in 16 inch, but I have got black. So, so give it a little bit of depth. I'm going to get a few of these oranges out of, because it's the same mandarin orange in these um, assortment. So I'm going to get a few of the 16 inch out of here. So it gives it that depth. And I've also got some five inch as well. And I'm going to just use black to stuff them. As I haven't got chocolate brown 16 inch. Because that, as well as that it's got gold dust as well. So. I'm going to just shove some black in here. It's so exactly the same for all the sizes. Um, and I am going to be mixing these sizes up. I'm going to be like not inflating them to 11 inch i'm going to be like some 9 inch some 10 inch etc etc just to change it up a little bit because i find when you're doing a blue mall it's really really important to make sure that you are um giving it some kind of texture inside the box and like it doesn't have to be perfectly square it can be different sizes um and just mess around with it that's what i like the most um just make it a little bit unique to you so let's just put that in there how many have i got of these mm, i've not got many i've got about six which isn't ideal i'd prefer to have a lot more uh, but as i said i wasn't planning on doing this video so i'm kind of using what i've got um and just going with it because i really wanted to make this blue more video so put this in here right guys so now that i have got all of my balloons prepared i'm going to start blowing them up so to make sure that it's super organized and i don't get into a massive mess i'm going to make sure that i do it really structured so i'm going to blow up one color at a time and then i will pair them up and cluster them as well and then i'll move on to the next color because the last thing i want is for it to all get muddled so let's just pop all those over there so i've got some space you want to see it over there so i'm not long it tidied this room and all my flowers have fell out the box over there i've got flowers over here i've got rubbish over here and <laughs> um, so first of all i am going to blow up my burnt orange color and i'm also going to make sure that i'm pairing these in with it as well so right so i've got my electric pump here if you haven't got an electric pump i really really advise for you to get one they are a lifesaver and they will save you so much time i remember when i first got one and i just couldn't get my head around it and it was, i just couldn't do it but when you practice it's so simple and it's made me feel so stupid <laughs> but what i like to do what i wanted to show you was if i've got a 16 inch i like to blow these up like separately so the reason being i like to push it down so it spreads and make more of a round effect rather than um all the air blowing the balloon upwards and making it a pear shape so let me just show you <laughs> So that's how this one looks and isn't that colour just gorgeous? I'm going to blow a little bit of air out and squeeze it down at the same time because that makes that nice round shape. And then I'm going to be adding, I'm going to hold it like this just so no air escapes. So once I've blown up any of my balloons, I push down on my leg, let a little bit of air out if it's over inflated and it gives it a lovely round shape so now i'm just going to tie them together i'm going to make sure that they're really tight together so they're not loose so it looks like this in the middle and i'm going to continue to do that with all of my burnt orange now so just to show you one without the 16 inch I'm going to place them both over the top of the no nozzles, push down. And as you can see, these are different sizes. 
I'm going to push down to make sure they're nice and round and then I'm going to tie them together as well making sure they're nice and tight and they will end up like this so I'm going to continue to do that for all of my burnt orange just blown up all of my burnt orange and now I'm going to start to cluster them all up so that means just taking a few pears and making a big cluster out of them um, which makes it easier to assemble and it looks way more organic so I'm going to get two pears and I'm literally just going to place one on top of the other and then twist so they intertwine in, intertwine <laughs> intertwine each of that like this some people just like to leave it as a quad um, but I personally like to put three pairs into one cluster and um, possibly four if there's an odd number and I also like to change up the size in just so it gives it that texture so I'm just going to add to add another one in I'm just going to find a little gap push it and then twist them together and it should look something like this so then I'll just put it to one side and do that for all of them so I'll quickly show you again I'm going to take two pairs like this push them together and then twist them so just stretch and twist you can see that in the middle and then again I'm going to add another big size and just push that in there as well and twist it just like that so super easy and um, I love this colour it's literally gorgeous so I'm really happy with that um, and I'm going to continue to do that for all of my pears so One's just parts. Right, so because it, because the orange has just popped, which is really annoying, I'm literally just going to take my scissors and I'm going to stretch the balloon um, that I want off now. And I'm just going to... This is really awkward because I'm left-handed. Um, so I'm going to pull it and that reduces the risk of it actually just exploding so you want to let it just like that and that means I can still use a 16 inch and I'm literally just going to add that into another cluster by tying it in so I'm going to just tie that to the, another neck of another blue the thing is with double stuff balloons, they are so tough because the resistance. So it's good, but it's not good when you've popped a balloon. So I'm just going to tie that in to this cluster so it doesn't go to waste. Oh, the door's shutting. Um, 
make sure that necks all the way through and there we go can you see that in the middle where I've tied that in um, but then if you just keep twisting you won't see it anymore right so now that all my orange is done I'm going to move straight on to the chocolate brown in white sand and I'm going to do exactly the same again I'm just going to blow them up different sizes make them into clusters and then move on to my next colour and I'm really obsessed with this colour like it looks amazing and it's up against my thistles at the moment so I might even put those in with it who knows I'm not too sure and I'm also not too sure whether I should put some pale blue in there as well and um, I've seen loads of photos with the burnt orange pale blue and nudes and I think it just looks stunning so I might incorporate a, a few of those as well but I will stick with these first. So I'm gonna blow these up to different sizes. So now I'm moving on to my next colour, which I think I might do chrome gold um, because who doesn't like a bit of chrome gold? Uh, I wish I could do this set up outside, um, but it's freezing and my garden just doesn't look its best. It looks a bit... Mm. <laughs> um, but... It will look nice regardless so i just feel one of, what, one of those today freddie slept through the night all night for the first time in months last night so i feel like a fresh new woman having new sleep <laughs> my back's not hurting and this morning when i woke up i just thought to myself i really just want to do something a little bit different and when i looked over there and i saw i've got some blue hydrangeas i just thought do i do i use them let me get them these are the. Hmm. Hmm. I always get hot, like caught up on my flowers when I'm doing a. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that because I think these thistles look nice with it, so I might just stick it with them because my amber. Um, eucalyptus is still out at the moment they've still got it until tomorrow and i was gonna wait for this video to film tomorrow but as i said i just couldn't wait i just wanted to film something so um yeah they've got that there and i've got to go and collect that tomorrow but me and jordan are thinking about filming a video for sunday or for wednesday um and it's going to be like a how well does he know me because yesterday he turned around and said that my birthday is in december my birthday is not my birthday is not in December, my birthday is in January, so he said, are you 26 in January, uh, in December? And I was like, no, I'm 25 in January, <laughs> firstly, like, I was like, I've been with you, like, nearly five years, and you don't even know my birthday, that's how bad he is, he's so bad. Um, but I thought that would be a nice fun video so I'm going to do like a balloon video then a lifestyle video balloon video lifestyle and just go on like that because I think that will like keep it a little bit more diverse anyway I'm just rambling again so I'm going to um, sort out all these chrome golds and then I'm just going to move straight onto my white sand with um, chocolate inside because then I'm all done and I can start constructing so let's just go <laughs>
so all of the balloons are all blown up i also blown up some um chocolate brown as well uh, without double stuff in there and now i'm going to go on to constructing it so usually there are literally loads of different ways that you can construct a bloom wall. Um, I'll do loads of videos um, of the ways that I like to do it best. But today I'm going to do like a really simple way. Um, if you're if you've never made a bloom wall before, or if it's something that you're just wanting to get practice in, this is a really good easy way. So all you're going to need is some 260 cues, which I have no idea where mine are. Okay, so mine are actually in the van, <laughs> but I have got a couple here from just loose over there. Um, what is that? Ah, it's confetti. I thought something would spill on the floor and I was like, what is that? I've had nothing in here. <laughs> um, so all I'm going to do is, usually you'd have like a colour that matches your balloons, um, but this is just what I have spare at the moment. So I'm going to hold it from the tip. And I'm going to pull out any air. So I'm just going to stretch it all out and keep my fingers really tight on it. Just to pull out all of the air and hold it really tight there. Then I'm going to wrap it round one of the balloons. I'm just going to put it inside the cluster. And I'm just going to tie a knot. And I'm going to tie it two or three times just to make sure that that's really secure. So it's in there, you can see, it's right in there and there's no air in there, there's no bubbles um, and that just makes it even more stretchier and it won't pop if you're like wrapping round. So after I have got this one, do you know what I might do actually, I'm going to move all the balloons and I'm going to make this space really clear before I can shoot. So bear with me, <laughs> I don't know what this was <laughs> but bear with me anyway. <laughs> I'm also going to go to the van to see if I've got any more 260 cues. Right, so I also found some really autumnal like throws. They're checked throws and I thought they'd make a really nice base for this as well. So I've put those down. So all I'm going to do, I've already tied my um, 260 cue to the chocolate brown cluster. And I am going to get another pair, another pair, another cluster. So I'm just going to mix up the clusters for now and I am going to place it on top of this cluster and just wrap it round and I'm going to wrap it round in different places as well just to make sure that it's really tight and secure and you know it's not going to move anywhere just like that so we're just left with a bigger cluster basically and then I'm going to add one more, so I'll add an orange. And then to secure it, you're going to want to find a neck of the balloon and then tie it two or three times just to make sure that the 260 is not going to come loose and that means that it's not all going to fall apart. So when it's done, it's going to look something like this. And I'm literally going to place it where I want my blue wall to start. So I'm going to leave mine there at the bottom. And I'm just going to continue to add onto this. Um, doing exactly the same method and then putting the cluster, putting these big clusters together using 260 cues. So I'm going to make big clusters like this and then I'm going to kind of construct upwards this way and see how it turns out. So I'm going to put you on a time lapse and I will stop to show you um, what I'm doing as I go along. So let's go.
Right, so I've got a big cluster like this, and I think I've just shown you as well on here. I'm just going to get a 260Q and I'm going to tie it to the middle of this small cluster. And then I'm going to use this 260Q to kind of stretch around this um, structure. And it doesn't even have to be like you're doing it like horizontal like this all the time. You can add them kind of vertically, wherever you think looks best and just keep adding them together and, and try and get them as tight as possible. So when you have big gaps like this, don't worry because we're going to fill those in later. the wall and I've also added some um, small well only a few um, little five inch as well just to hide a few of the gaps and I really really let me see if I can get you a better picture I really like how it's turned out I, in fact this is probably one of my favorite ones I think I'm gonna call this pumpkin spice <laughs> um, and I'm gonna leave this up as my backdrop for as long as I can and I'm going to um, get some like florals to put in there as well and to take some photos of it but I'm really happy with how it turned out I hope that this video has been useful to you as I said before I just made big clusters so three clusters together and um, tied together with the 260Q and I've literally just stacked those on top of each other to give the wall the shape that I wanted it to be and then to hide all the gaps I've just filled it in with five inch balloons so it's a really super simple way to construct a balloon wall without having to invest in a frame or anything like that and I've just attached it to this wall by using command hooks so I've used one command hook there one command hook there um, and if I was to put flowers in I might attach it um, in a few other spots as well because it can make it quite heavy but I love it and I hope you do as well so thank you so much for watching comment if it helped you or let me know if you're going to have a go yourself and make sure to subscribe because I really appreciate it so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one